Hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, August 8th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Hello, hello, hello everybody. I'm so glad to see you guys on here. How's everybody doing? It was absolutely beautiful today. A little bit, a little bit hot, but now it's just gorgeous outside. I just went outside to um, take the garbage out and it's absolutely beautiful. The temperature's cooled down and it is gorgeous outside. Hold on, let me straighten this out just a little bit. All right. Welcome, 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 everybody. Got everything straight now, hopefully. Hey, Tony. Hey, Renee. Hey, Julie. Got your catalog today. Awesome. I only have my catalog because I ordered them two-day air. I still haven't gotten mine in the mail yet. So if you haven't gotten yours in the mail yet, hopefully it'll be coming soon. I always send myself one. Well, Stampin' Up's supposed to send us one too, but I always send myself one so I know when my customers should be getting it. And I haven't gotten mine yet, so. But this is the one that I ordered from Stampin' Up in my two-day shipping, which didn't come two-day shipping. It was supposed to come Friday and it didn't come till yesterday. So I was able to get some new stuff. I want to show you all, all the new stuff I got. And um, it's so exciting. I love, love, love when new catalogs come out and this holiday catalog is by far one of my favorites it's to me so much better than the big catalog was because that was a little bit of a disappointment to me because they took away all my floral sets but this holiday one is fantastic so i can't wait to show you what i got i can't show you the um inside of the mini catalog but i can show you the cover and i can show you what i got so um You'll have to just wait and see if you haven't seen it yet. You'll have to wait to get yours in the mail. Or if you're a demonstrator, you can go online if you haven't gotten it yet. So um, let me see. Where did I stop? Hey, Lynn. Hey, Gail. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Carol. Hey, Diana. Hey, Diane. From hot Virginia. Diana's not that, it's not that hot today. <laughs> there was such a great breeze outside today. Um, hey, oh, I think I already said Cynthia. Hey, Jay, Lynn. Hey, Sharon. Catching me live, finally. Yay. Back at school. Oh, my gosh. Where do you live? Our school doesn't start till the day after Labor Day. Well, actually, some of the schools around here, for the first time ever, are starting the week before Labor Day. But Chesapeake starts the day after Labor Day. So, we always wait till September here. Um... Let's see, Marie, Linda, Carrie, Josephine, Therese, Debbie, hey Mary, hey Beth, hey Robin, hey Donald, <laughs> hey Wendy, hey Nicole, hey Josie, hey Brenda, hey Judith. All right, so we've got a bunch of people coming on. So welcome, 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 everybody. Hey, hey, hey. So this is the card. This is from the new catalog. And wait till you see the paper that this came out of. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I couldn't wait to use that. There's two packs, actually three packs of paper. But this one is one of my favorites. And then there's another pack that I just absolutely love. So um, I can't wait to show you guys that. And let's see. One pack. August 2nd. Holy cow. New Mexico. You guys must get out really early. Love that DSP. Wait till you see it all. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. All right, so we have a lot to do today, so we're going to get started. So this is what we're making tonight. So I'm going to show you that. And then this is the stamp set um, that goes with it. And it's got dies and a whole bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to show you that. Um, this is the mini catalog. I can't show you what's in it, but isn't it pretty? And it's got so much stuff in there, I just wanna show it to you, but I can't. So hopefully you'll get yours in the mail. This is the paper that um, I'm gonna show you tonight. So this is the piece that I'm using, and I cut it in half so I can get two um, cards out of it. So this is um, one piece, but I think these are just photographs of fall stuff, and they're so awesome. I love, love, love them. So the back is actually embossed, like copper embossed. So um, every sheet, it's really tough to decide because the, the front is beautiful and the back is also beautiful. So that's one, and then you've got this one. 
which is also gorgeous, and that's the back. This one is okay. It's like, um, I like the back of this better. So that's that one. This one I think is so pretty. Oh my gosh. This would be really pretty to do, um, like punch some leaves out of it. And that's actually what I did on my card today was I punched the leaves out of the paper. So um, it came out awesome. Oops. And then we've got some wood grain, which I love wood grain backgrounds for all sorts of stuff. And that's the back of that one. This one, I'm not sure what it is. It kind of looks like fabric. And then that, I love this piece. That's gorgeous. I love the pumpkins. I love fall though. Um, that's the back of that one. This one is just bookshelf. And um, I wasn't crazy about that, so I used the back of it to punch my leaves out of. So I'll show you those in just a bit. Um, and here's a gorgeous piece of just leaves. And that's the back, and I love, love, love that color with the copper embossed on it. And then this looks like a couch or something. And then the back of that is that one, which I love. And then here's some more leaves in the back of that. And then we got more books in the back of that. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper, love it. And that's called All About Autumn. It's six by six. You get 48 sheets, so that's gorgeous. We're also gonna be using this, the new um, Distress Tile 3D embossing folder. That's on the back of my card right here. So you can see that in the background. And then see the leaves? I punched them out of that paper that I just showed you, the back side of it. And then this one is actually another piece I'm gonna show you in a minute, so. Gorgeous paper. And here's the dies that come with that stamp set. So lots of cool stuff in there. All right, so let me put that away. And then I wanna show you some of the new stuff. Um, okay, so you're ready? This is all new stuff. Oh, let me see some comments. Hey, Anya. How you doing? Hey, Cindy. Hey, Karen. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Audrey. Can I start over? <laughs> Just rewind it. Go watch the beginning again. <laughs> Roxanne got her catalog today. Loving this suite. Me too. Okay, so let me show you some stuff. Okay, I got giant piles of stuff. So here, these are all my favorite things that I had to get right away. So this is, um, it, there's lots of Christmas stamp sets because I love Christmas. Um, so this one I love. It is a rubber stamp. And I almost used this stamp with this card, but it didn't quite match. So um, that's one. So that's called Cheers to the Season. Um, no die with that one. We've got a new snowflake embossing folder. So I love that. It's kind of like the old one that just had the dots on it, but then it's got snowflakes mixed in there too. And then we've got deckled circles. So this is like the deckled rectangles. I should have opened this ahead of time, except it's circles. So, oops, sorry, I didn't open this first. So we've got... And you might have seen this. Oh my gosh, these circles are huge. I didn't realize you got some so big. I'm not sure. That's like way bigger than a piece of paper. I mean, a card. Huh. So I don't know. That's kind of funny. I don't know what you would do with the giant ones like that. So that's the new deckled um, circles. And let's see if I can get it back in there. Okay, this, oh, this is cool. This is um, new masks. And there's one in here that is a sunflower. Let me take these out. So we've got one that's kind of like, uh, what is that called? Not gingham, but it's some kind of, uh, what is it called? Oh, herringbone, no. Some kind of clothing that you could wear. We've got a snowflake one. We've got a leaf one. We've got this. Oh, these three all go to the four, go to the um, sunflower. So you've got like a build bear kind of snow uh, sunflower. So you've got the outside part, and that's the inside part, and that's more inside part, and um, leaves. So I've seen these before. Like I think Altenu or somebody else has um, this, and I kept hoping Stampin' Up would come out with them. And look, they've even got a little notch there. So if you get this, you can line the notch up so you know which way to put it. So it goes this way, all of them go this way. 
so you know exactly where to put it from that little notch to line it up. So that's exciting. Um, this, oh, this is like my favorite. I think out of all the sweets in here, this is my favorite. So this is called Magical Meadow, and the paper that goes with this is absolutely, oh, Houndstooth. I knew it was something like that, Houndstooth. Um, yeah, that's what it was. I was trying to think of that. Scrapbooking people. Oh, yeah, for, yeah, scrapbooking. I guess that's what those large circles are for. Um, good, good call. I was thinking, well, not for cards. I mean, the smaller ones are for cards, but, um, yeah, black and white fabric. I knew it was something because I used to have a dress that was that, that fabric. Um, so this is gorgeous. It comes with the dyes to match and wait till I show you the paper. You're just going to die. This is another good bundle. This is Rustic Crate, and this comes with some really cool dyes, too. So this is a nice little um, autumn one. And then we've got Christmas Tidings Embossing Folder. And this goes with, mm, I can't remember which one. That goes, I think, with the bundle, but I'm not positive. This one I love, 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 because this is a distinctive stamp set called Forever Forest, and it also has matching dyes. So this is a must, must get. And here's that snowflake stamp set and the dies. It has paper. Oh, wait a minute. That's not it. Handcrafted elements. I was thinking the snowflake one came with dies. Maybe it doesn't. Because I put everything together. So maybe that doesn't have dies with it. I thought it did, though. Well, unless I got my stack mixed up. Um, I've got handcrafted elements. Oh, these are really cool. I wanted to show you these. This is just like a standalone thing. It doesn't really go with anything, I don't think. But it's really cool. All right, so here are these. So I love these dies. It's just one sheet, but I think. Oh, no, it's not, it's two. I was thinking it was more. Okay, so here are all the dies in this one. And I love these. I should have popped them out, made some uh, templates, but I think they're so pretty. So that is handcrafted elements dies. So that's that's a definite you have to get. And that's kind of like on the page by itself. It's not with a um, bundle or anything. And then tiny Christmas tree dies. This is fun. This is just one whole die of little Christmas trees. So you can punch it out of a, um, oh, the snowflake has a punch. That's right, oh, I got the punch right here. There's the punch. So it's a tag topper punch that goes with the snowflake. I thought it had something in there. So that's that goes with the snowflake. All right, so this one is really cool. I thought this would look good with some of this background paper behind it. So you get these tiny Christmas trees. So I was thinking you could pop it out and have confetti, but man, they use some strong tape on this. But I think this would be pretty like with Christmas paper behind it or gold or something else like, um, I don't have any really sitting right here, but hold on. Let me show you this one. This is what I popped these leaves out of. And this is really pretty paper. But see, like, if you put that behind it and pop those trees out, I think that would be really pretty. Like, pop the trees out of the paper and put that on top of the gold or the copper. I think it'd be really pretty. So that's that one. I have a whole stack more. Wait till you see the paper. So pretty. All right, so that's those. Let me get those out of the way. Without spooling them. All right, here's some more. All right, Christmas Classics, and this comes with a bundle. So that's a good um, word set. And these go, to go together. The Joy of Noel and Christmas Classics, I think, is a sweet. And that has dyes also. So these two go together, and it's got paper. And then Stars at Night, I loved this one. <clears throat> and it's got a hybrid embossing folder with the dyes that goes with it. So this one... And this one are a bundle. And actually, it's a suite, I think. It has paper that matches, which I'll show you in a second. Now, these two I thought were really cool. They have, they're like background stamps. 
So they're just one big giant stamp of the Deers. So this is one stamp, and then this is one stamp. And I love, love, love this for a background. Oh, they can be beautiful. And this too. I love, 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 love these. Oh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to do them all. There's a lot of rubber stamps this time instead of photopolymer, but, but that's okay. I just gotta like cut them out. Oh, at least I do. Okay, here's my favorite paper. This one goes with that stamp set I showed you a minute ago. It's Winter Meadow, and this is absolutely gorgeous. So that's one. This one, I almost did a card with this tonight instead of the autumn, but I wanted to do autumn first. Um, love the copper paper. I do too. Catch replay. Oh, Mel, you got some. Oh, you're talking to Vicky. Sorry. <laughs> you want to watch but stamp at the same time? Okay. Um, love this paper. Yes. Isn't it gorgeous? Gorgeous. So I think this would be perfect. Cut it right in the middle and then make your six cards out of this. So I think I might do that maybe um, next time or... Oh, God, there's a little bug on me. <laughs> it's like a little gnat or something. Oh, my God, it scared me. Um, so then we've got this one with the little... Um, what are those? Berries or something? No, what is that? Uh, mistletoe, maybe? I don't know. No, I think mistletoe's white. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't even looked at this yet. I just was like pulling it out. And I said, oh, I just love it. So gorgeous. And then this one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, love this paper. This is definitely by far my favorite paper. Oh, and I haven't even looked at the other papers yet, so I don't know. But this one just really caught my eye because it was gorgeous. Of course, I can't get it back in the pack, but okay, there we go. All right, next pack. So this one is Joy of Christmas. So this one, we've got poinsettias and wood grain. This is kind of like watercolor paper. And then we've got some checker, like a gingham kind of, and some more. So that's almost like that one, except smaller. And then some leaves. These definitely are like watercolory pictures. Oh, look, that's um, musical notes on the back. That's a nice background. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, now see, I think that would look good with that tree dye I just put away. And some more like checker paper. And musical notes on the back of that one. Oh, red. That's so pretty. Love it. Love it. All right, so that's one. Okay, here's that paper that goes with that star. So this one, I did open these already ahead of time. That's good. Last one is so pretty. I know it. Oh, love it. Oh, that that's pretty. I don't know what that is. Huh. I guess it looks like just kind of some paint swatches. Oh, that's pretty. There's a stamp set that goes with this too. Besides the star one, there was two. Um, one was like um, Bethlehem. I didn't get that one though. That's pretty. It's just like kind of an ombre look. And that's pretty. More stars, look like this one. It's kind of like almost the same piece different stars okay so that's that one so if you guys haven't done your order yet you can kind of get an idea of what to get after seeing this that was the hard thing because I had to order from the um, computer because it didn't have the mini catalog so it was hard to see everything now this paper is really pretty this is embossed with gold and you only get what I think five sheets maybe Six sheets, six sheets. So we've got three blue and three vanilla. So there you go. So we've got like leaves, kind of stars and something. I don't know what you would call that. Oh, they're both the same. Oh, okay, so these are the same. So you get three blue, three vanilla, 
and they're the same pattern. So you got two of the stars, two of that, and two of the leaves. And they're all gold embossed. So that's pretty. All right, so here is, oh, I forgot to look at the name of that one. This one is Joyful. So we've got, this one's a 12 pack and it's embossed. So we've got the green and the gold. Oops, I forgot to show the back. Oh, there's nothing, it's just single-sided. Okay, no back. So this is like a wood grain gold, a musical notes gold. <gasps> oh, that one's pretty. Oh, it's not 12 pack, it's only, what, eight? Let me see, yep, eight pieces. So you get two of each of these. So we got two of those, two of those, two of those, and two of these. So this is only eight pack, eight pieces in there. So that's gorgeous. Lots of specialty paper this time that's embossed. All right, this one is beautiful colors. I can't remember what, here we go. This one is called Snowflake Magic. Oh gosh, look at how beautiful that is. I wonder what color that is. It kind of looks like Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock together. That is gorgeous. I think that's my favorite sheet of, oh, that's pretty too. So that's silver, and here's a snowflake. So this one is only, wait a minute, six, it says six, but I think, oh, there is six, okay. So there's two of this one, two of this one, and two of this one, and those are all embossed. So that's white embossed, silver embossed, and it looks like pretty peacock, I think, embossed. So that's pretty. And this is the one I use today. So this one is called Oxidized Copper. So it's got um, only four sheets in here. So you get two of these and two of these. So four sheets total. I use this one to make these leaves right here. So I popped this out of um, this paper right here. So they make really pretty leaves. You just die cut it right in there. And the leaves, the die cut for the leaves comes with that um, pattern indented into it. So um, it's really, they're really pretty. You get this one and you get this one. So I did this one out of a different paper from the um, pack, the first pack I showed you. So I love these dies that come with that autumn set. Okay, so there's all the paper, almost done. Now we've got ribbon. So these are the ribbons I ordered. Well, actually I ordered a couple more, hold on. Well, we're gonna be using them, so I'll show you later. All right, so we've got silver and um, white sheer ribbon. That's really pretty. This is Night of Navy. It almost looks black with gold speckles in it, but it's Night of Navy. And then this is the gingham, like our other gingham, except it's vanilla instead of white, and that's a little bit wider. And then we've got a sparkly white, it's called iridescent ribbon, that's white, and that one's really pretty. So those are some of the new ribbons. And then we've got some gems, and oops, and one more thing. So these are loose holly gems in sequence, not looking at the, <laughs> the comments. Um, so these are musical notes and leaves and some gems in there. They're not sticky, so you gotta put adhesive on them, but aren't they cute? Let me see if I can get some out in my hand so you can see them better. So musical notes, gems, and leaves. Aren't they cute? I love these. That'd be good for a shaker card, a Christmas shaker card. So there's that. Okay, and then we've got, um, these are adhesive back speckled dots. 
Those are really pretty, kind of Christmassy fall colors. I was gonna try and put some on this card, but the card I think just was good without anything on it. These are really pretty. This is um, adhesive backed glitter sequins, and they're that shimmery uh, glimmer paper punched out into little sequins. So those are gorgeous. And then this is Blooming Pearls. And these are absolutely gorgeous. So this is gold. I don't know what colors these are. That kind of looks like Lost Lagoon a little bit. I'm not sure what they are. That's probably Bubble Bath. And I don't know what that, maybe Pretty Peacock, but I'm not positive. It doesn't say on there. And then these are gorgeous too. These are kind of like those gems we used to have a long time ago that were gold and um, I think they were gold and silver, but they were a little bit bigger than these. They're called Faceted Gems Trio. Oh, there's three colors. You can kind of see. There's another color right there. Gorgeous. All right, so that is my show and tell for today. So that's everything I ordered plus what we're using tonight. So um, isn't that exciting? I just love it, love it. Can't wait to play with it. Um, let's see, let me go back and read some comments real quick. Linda says, I need to win the lottery to get all the new DSP stamps and dies. Yes, that was quite a hefty order that I, I did. <laughs> I broke my bank for this month. Um, yeah, the catalog opens for everybody in September. Right now, demonstrators can order from it during the pre-order, but it's for everybody starting September. I think September 1st, but I'm not positive. Usually, it's the beginning of September. We're all in big trouble. That is it. Because I didn't even order. I still have a bunch more stuff I wanted to order, but I had to. Um, when you do second day air, the limit for the 20 three dollars extra shipping is five hundred dollars and then it goes up to like another twenty some dollars on top of that so i had to keep it under five hundred dollars and uh luckily i had some extra um bonus cash to spend so <laughs> as demonstrators we earn extra um like product bonuses for sales and stuff so i had some of that to use so luckily i got to add that in there with it um you had a punch box with the blue and the gold. A punch box. You'll have to explain what that is. I don't know what a punch box is. Oh yeah, don't forget to like the video. Yep, love the Snowflake DSP. Uh, me too. Papers are stunning. I know, the paper is stunning. Every single pack was stunning. Uh, love it. Oh yeah, my date. I gotta tell you about that. Ugh. It went great, but then it didn't go great. <laughs> I have to tell you about it. Um, I'll do that while I'm stamping. Is the paper distressed gold? It's distressed copper. Copper. Um, Wednesday morning here, a beautiful winter day. Oh, uh, Deborah, you must be in Australia, I think. Hey, Janaea. Hey, Sue. Thanks for sharing. Um, now I did not get my catalog from Stampin' Up! yet. The catalog that I have is from the one that I did the two-day air on. I know. Yes, I miss Spice Girl awfully bad. It is definitely not the same without her on here. Hey, Bill. Hey, Carol. Starla, I ordered so much. Me too. I'm telling you, I broke my bank on this one. Mel, I know you do. I think we all miss her, but you especially. Okay, so I do have some happy mail. Well, not all happy mail, but some happy mail to show you. I got lots of cards. All right, so this one, who is this one from? This one is from, let me see, did I get these mixed up? Um, yeah, okay, so this one is from Cindy, Cindy Iris Smith. So she sent me this one with that cute windmill and the, um, uh, what are those called? Mm, they're not daffodil. Are they daffodils? Yeah, daffodils. That was a daffodil paper. So that is beautiful. Love it. Love it. This one is from Paulette. 
Yeah, Paulette Cous wait a minute. Coustier. She said I said her name right. <laughs> Coustier is like French. French. This one I love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is from Cin Cindy Schmidt. Sh Cynthia Schmidt. Love this. Ugh, it's just gorgeous. That's what that shimmery paper punched out. I don't know if you can see that. And I missed that paper too. Love it, love it. And my shells. Oh, just love this. I missed, missed, missed that. Friends are like seashells. Stamp set and embossing folder. And then this one is from Loretta. Loretta Pearson. Love it. I need to do another one of those cards too with that. Um, I forget what that technique is called. And Ida. This one's from Ida. Love it. Love it. That's some pretty paper. I don't remember where that paper's from, if it's stamping up or not. But most of these were sympathy cards, but they were all gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I especially love that shell one. I just think that is just absolutely gorgeous. But that was one of my very, very favorite stamp sets and dies that we had. Okay, uh, one more thing. So don't forget card kit for the month. If you order $50 or more using the host code is um, a set of supplies to make these four cards with the napkin card technique. So you'll get a pack of four um, sets of everything to make all of these, plus the napkin, which has four designs on it, so you can make that. So that's with a $50 order using the host code. And then you also get a pack of pearls if it's $100 or more. And you get entered into the drawing for the mystery box giveaway. So um, let's see. I did have somebody email me, how do you get a mystery box? If Well, you can either order $100 or more and get entered into the drawing, or if you just want to order a mystery box, just email me at stampgirl2 at cox.net. Stampgirl2, don't forget the two, at cox.net. And um, you can order one directly from me. So that is that. All right, I think we're done with all the show and tell for right now. So now we're going to start stamping. So that was 30 minutes of that. Let me see. Nobody's going to forget Spice Girl. Don't you worry. Um, wow. Mel says Greg got another 24 cards. So I'm sure he's getting tons and tons of cards. Um... Sorry, I don't want to be Let's see. Okay, I think I got all the comments. I still haven't gotten my catalog though. And I placed an order on July 31st and this irritates me so bad. They ship it FedEx, but then it goes FedEx until the very end and then they give it to the post office. And then the post office takes like another week to deliver it. So mine is sitting at the post office in Chesapeake and has been for the last like five days and still has not been delivered yet. So I'm getting really aggravated. All right, so, and the card I was gonna make tomorrow in my class um, and today, and I mean not tomorrow, Thursday, um, the paper that I need is in that box. All right, so for this card, you need five and a half by eight and a half fairy vanilla five and a quarter by four copper clay. And this is embossed with that tile, distress tile embossing folder. And then that is half of the paper that I showed you. So this is the other half of this piece. So it goes like that kind of across. So this is the left side, that's the right side. So it's gonna be a little bit different than this one, but I just cut it in half at three and then cut it um, at four and a half to make it smaller. And then we've got our little, this is a die that comes in the um, bundle with the autumn leaves, this one right here. And then a little piece of copper clay, three by um, one half. So that is what you need for this. Plus we've got brand new ribbon. And then here's the stamp set. Oops, take a screenshot. And and I know all of the orders used to come UPS. I don't know why 
Stampin' Up's gone to FedEx now because all my orders come FedEx now. This is the stamps that I already showed you that. And I showed you the paper. And then here's the paper. So this is the back of the two book pieces. And I just used this side to punch my leaves out. And a good thing about these dies is they come with two. So you get two of like the maple leaf and or oak. I don't know if that's maple or oak. And um, two of this. I don't know what kind of leaf that is. But you get two of those and two of those out of your dies. So you can punch four leaves at a time. So that is nice. And then this is that distressed copper. So I punched out some with that too. All right, so here's the new ribbon, one of them. So that's what I used here. But guess what? This ribbon is one of my favorite kinds of ribbon because you can fray it and then you pull a couple of the threads and you can gather it to make that gorgeous look. So um, it's super easy to do. Let me cut a piece real quick for my card and then I'll show you how to do that. So you have to do it when it's on the roll. So let me just cut that. Okay, so that's what I need for my card. All right, so if you wanna do this technique with the gathering like that, you just fray a little bit and cut that off. And then you just go to the middle of the roll and you just kind of grab a couple of the threads like this. Oops. I like to try and get two, but if you get one, one's okay. But I like to try and get two. There we go. So now I got two ribbon or two threads and you just start pulling it and it gathers like that. But you got to leave it on the roll or else, because if you just cut it, it's going to just pull right out of the middle. And you just keep on moving that down like that and gather it until you get um, however much you want like that. So I was going to do it on this card, you know, just put it like, like that there. Um, but I thought it was just too much for this card, so I did it. But that's one of the ribbons, and they come, it comes in a double pack with this one. So this is the Copper and Natural Ribbon Combo Pack. So you get this copper and this one, the naturals, together. So they're gorgeous ribbons. And then this is the embossing folder. So I did it in vanilla so you could see what it looks like too. So this is the new embossing board. It's supposed to do this. It's distressed, so it's supposed to be like um, not getting all the parts in there. At first I thought, oh, it's not working. And then I looked at the picture on the, here it is. See, if you look at the picture, you can tell it's not supposed to get it all. So it's supposed to be like um, distressed looking. And I, then you can sponge that with the blending brush or whatever you want to do. All right, so. I think I covered everything now. All right. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> All right. So, let me see. Oh, Mary's leaving. Got to go. See you later, Mary. What's, what was the embossing folder? It's called Distressed Tile 3D Embossing Folder. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Love it. All right, so first what we need to do is stamp. And the only thing we've got to stamp is the inside and the words. And I'm using the copper clay. And my pad was brand new and juicy, so I kind of used my bone folder to scrape the ink to the end, but I think it's already come back because now it looks like it's inked up a bunch again. Yeah, it is, because look, <laughs> it's like totally juicy. So let me take that and see how dark it is. Oh yeah, that's pretty juicy. All right, so I'm just gonna take it and do two leaves right here. So that's for the inside. And then we're gonna take our words and I'm using I'm thankful very, very lightly. And just put that right in the middle just I think they need to make that a a little bit bigger because it's hard to see it it 
kind of looks like think thinkful instead of thankful. <laughs> like whoever did that needs to make that a just a little bit bigger. All right, so then we're just gonna put this piece on here on top. And as long as she tells about your date, it can be a little. <laughs> oh, the date. Okay, <laughs> I forgot. So we went out um, Saturday night after my video and we went to this place called Black Pelican, which is a really, really nice kind of seafood restaurant. Um, and it was so funny. So I got there a few minutes before he did and I was sitting there waiting um, by the front door. They had a little bench and I'm just sitting there waiting like maybe five minutes. And um, then I said, well, I'll just go ahead and get a table. So I went and sat down. And um, so we're gonna glue this down here. So I was just sitting by myself and he shows up maybe five minutes later. And um, we had the cutest waiter. He was just adorable. And um, so we order and about 10 minutes after we order, the waiter comes over and he said, he said, well, you guys get a free meal. And I was like, what do you mean we get a free meal? And he said, somebody at the bar um, decided to pay it forward and bought you guys dinner. And I was like, what? Are you kidding? What dye was the sediment? This comes in the the autumn, the autumn uh, bundle. It's the dye that goes with the autumn leaves bundle. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And I was like, who is it? And they said, well, they wanna remain anonymous. So I kept wanting to get up and go to the bar and look and see who was over there. But then I thought maybe it wasn't even somebody at the bar, it was just somebody in the restaurant. So anyway, so we got a, our whole meal was free. I was like, that's crazy. So um, that was nice because the meal ended up being, I mean, it's a nice restaurant. I mean, just my dinner alone was like 25 bucks. And um, so I'm sure our ticket was like at least about $80 or something. We didn't get like alcohol or anything, but I was like, that was so nice. So that was nice then after dinner we went to the park and walked around for a little bit and um, just sat on a bench and talked and um, I'm gonna put this down with tear and tape because ribbons hard to glue down so I want it about right there so we'll just put it like this so you know he was being really nice and um, we had a good time. So then, um, you know, that was it. So just a good time. And then we said, well, let's get together tomorrow. So then we got together Sunday and had a good time. We went to lunch. So everything was great. And then I had to work um, yesterday. And so today we're talking on the phone and his old personality started coming back. And I was like, all right. So remember I told you guys we had gone out like a few years back and he was a jerk. Well, he was super nice on the dates. And then we started talking today and his jerkiness started coming back out again. And I was like, okay, we're done. <laughs> so, so that was it. We went out twice and started being his jerky self so it was done all right so we're gonna put that down on top oops gotta hold it a minute because it's not gonna stick so yep once a jerk always a jerk I know he was being pretty good though for the the first two dates he was really nice a couple times he said something and I kind of looked at him and he was like oh sorry sorry you know like he knew he was you know being a jerk but Today, he just started, he said something, I don't even remember what it was. And I was just like, okay, we're, we're done. So, yep, true colors shining through. That's exactly right. Yep. Yes, there is a black pelican in the Outer Banks. It's the same one. So, it was in the Outer Banks first, and it's the same restaurant. And um, we just have it in Chesapeake. So, same same exact restaurant. And it is fantastic. 
So that goes there. All right, then we're gonna put this on top with dimensionals. It's definitely good. If you live in this area, definitely try it. And if you're in the Outer Banks, try the one down there. It's the exact same uh, menu, I'm pretty sure. I don't think anything is different. And um, well, they probably have a different chef because they can't have the same chef at both of them, but I think the menu's the same. All right, so this one, I'm gonna put a couple of leaves down first. So I've got, oops, this one goes on the bottom. Nope, not the bottom. Next to the bottom, this one goes on the bottom. So I've got this one, then this one, and then this one. And then I saved the other one. So I did, so this paper was the one with the books, and then this was the books, a different different one. And then this was that distressed copper one. So I did one of each. So we're gonna just glue this one down here with the regular glue, just a little bit put it like right there hold it for a second all right and then let's see this is gonna go oops that's probably too high let me see if I can just slide it down a little bit And then this one's gonna go on top of that one, like that. Oops. So like right there. Just hold it for a second. And this one's gonna kinda go a little bit behind and a little on top. Isn't this paper gorgeous? You really don't even need to do anything with it. It's just so pretty. Okay, so then this goes on top, right there. And isn't that ribbon just so pretty frayed like that? I think it's just gorgeous. All right, and then this one goes on with dimensionals. Maybe one more teeny one. Okay, so then we're gonna kind of stick this behind, but on the top too. Oh, I have a really good joke for you guys tonight too. It's hysterical. All right, so this one's gonna go like, kind of on the top and behind a little bit. So there you go. All right, now we've gotta spray it. Then I'll read some comments. I really am dying to know who bought that dinner, though. That's like, I want to know if it was like a stranger, complete stranger, which would be really weird that there would be some total stranger that bought us dinner or somebody I knew. I kept thinking it was probably one of my customers or something, but I could, I didn't see anybody I knew there. So I don't know. All right, so there you go. So this is both sides of this paper so that's what the original piece looks like and then I cut it down the middle so that's this half and that's that half and then I cut the bottom off um, I cut a teeny bit off the top but not much so that's what it started out as and there you go so gorgeous that shimmer stuff is $18 to $21 in Canada um, yes yes Tony I do go to church um, but I don't think, I think their singles group is for younger people. Um, does the shimmer spray affect the metallic paper? No, it doesn't. It looks gorgeous on that metallic paper. Great cards, love the trees. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Devil in disguise, yep, yep. Check him off my list, already done. I already blocked him. <laughs> All right, so let me read the joke. The joke is hysterical, so hold on. Let me pull that up. Don't forget, if you haven't done, thumbs up, like, subscribe, share it on Pinterest and all that other stuff because I forget to do it there. So always share the videos everywhere you want to, especially Pinterest. Okay, here's the joke. 
So, an elderly man was on a moped, looking about 90 years old, and he pulls up next to a doctor at a streetlight. The old man looks over at the sleek, shiny car and says, What kind of car you got there, Sonny? The doctor says, A Ferrari GTO. It cost half a million dollars. That's a lot of money, says the old man. Why does it cost so much? The doctor says, Because it can do 220 miles an hour, states the doctor proudly. The moped driver says, Mind if I take a look inside? No problem, says the doctor, so the old man pokes his head in the window and looks around. Then, sitting back on his moped, the old man says, That's a pretty nice car, all right, but I'll stick with my moped. Just then, the light changes, so the doctor decides to show the old man just what his car can do. He floors it, and within 30 seconds, the speedometer reads 150 miles an hour. Suddenly, he notices a dot in his rearview mirror. It seems to be getting closer. He slows down to see what it could be, and suddenly, whoosh! Something whips by him, going much faster. What on earth could be going that fast? Faster than my Ferraris, the doctor asked himself. He presses harder on the accelerator and takes the Ferrari up to 180. Then, up ahead of him, he sees that it's the old man on the moped. Amazed that the moped could pass his Ferrari, he gives it more gas and passes the moped at 200 miles an hour. And he's feeling pretty good until he looks in his mirror and sees the old man gaining on him again. Astounded by the speed of this old guy, he floors the gas pedal and takes it all the way up to 220 miles an hour. Not 10 seconds later, he sees the moped bearing down on him again. The Ferrari is flat out and there's nothing he can do. Suddenly, the moped plows into the back of his Ferrari, demolishing the rear end. The doctor stops and jumps out and unbelievably, the old man is still alive. He runs up to the banged up old guy and says, I'm a doctor, is there anything I can do for you? Out of breath and pale as a ghost, the old man whispers, Can you unhook my suspenders from your side view mirror? <laughs> I thought that was hysterical because now I could just picture the old man just flying up to the corner. Uh, I thought that was cute. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So I hope you like that joke. And um, a lot of you guys told me you share these jokes with your husband. So I thought that was hysterical. A lot of you guys told me that. <laughs> so I'm so glad your husbands enjoy these videos too. So make sure you tell them you got to spend lots of money so you can keep watching these videos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it was almost an hour long. And I hope you like all the new stuff and start making your list. Um, and I think one thing is already sold out, one of the Halloween sets, but I, did, I don't order Halloween stuff, so. Um, all right, so I will be back on Saturday. You burst out laughing. <laughs> um, I'll be back Saturday at noon. I'm sure I don't have a date this Saturday. <laughs> Um, but I'll be back Saturday at noon with a new video. I think I might do that Christmas paper one. So, um, I'm so glad you guys liked that. Don't forget thumbs up. We're, um, still about 50 people behind on the thumbs up. So make sure you do that before you go and like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and, um, I will see you guys back on Saturday. And Saturday at noon. Don't forget Saturday at noon um, Eastern time. And you guys take care and have a great week. Bye-bye.